From Jezero Crater on the surface of Mars, this is Mr. C. Seventh, eighth graders, happy Aloha Friday from the Secret Science Recording Studio in Mesa, Arizona, aka the Bunker. Anyway, this is our last happy Aloha Friday together, so I'm sure. Tissues are in order. Or if not tissues, maybe party hats. So, anyway, I have a few things just to let you know, some reminders about the semester exam, and then I'm going to kick things off celebrating your entrance into summer vacation after your semester exams with supposedly the world's highest drop ride uh, from New Jersey, but that'll be at the end. So anyway, um, I want to congratulate all of you 7th, 8th graders. You've demonstrated an awful lot of grit and toughness under very challenging circumstances this year. Good on you, as they say down under. or. The translation, way to go. On a personal note, I want to say how much I missed getting to teach you all in person. God designed me to be a teacher. Most teachers, especially teachers here at SCA, would say that the major reason that they're in teaching, that they're teachers, is because they love the interaction with students. And that's what I've really missed. That's what energizes us teachers, just the personal interaction. And just not being able to have that has been tough. Maybe not so much on you, um, but on me. Now, of course, a number two reason that teachers love teaching is because they love their subject matter. And you know that's the case with me. I love nature. I love science because it so brings glory to God. And I hope that popped out to you this year often. I also have to say I love doing these videos though. And I tried to be enthusiastic. I tried to be as entertaining as possible because I realized it was tough um, sitting through um, all of these. I think this is the 100th, 188th um, double video um, that my son-in-law and my daughter have produced for me. So, and I'll say a little bit more about that um, in a little bit. So that's a lot of videos. Now, that's since a year ago March when I started doing these videos. For you guys, I would say maybe it's something like 150, 150 plus. Some of you are going, oh, it feels like 150. Anyway, way to go. So tune in there, just this last one, and I will help you even be more successful on your semester exam. Some thank yous are in order. First to Mr. Phillip, who has worked very hard on my behalf in the classroom. Thank you, Mr. Phillip. Way to go. Good on you. And then... Thank yous to my daughter Laura and son-in-law Aaron that you'll see in the wind-up video when, when my grandkids pop back in. And I'll have Laura and Aaron pop back in too. Uh, they've worked very, very hard in uh, producing all of these videos. Well, you've got a white sheet. I want to ask you a few questions. You can earn yourself a Jolly Rancher if you nail all of these. So. See what you can do? So here we go. I've got to hurry because I want to make sure you have time for that drop ride from New Jersey. It's called Zumanjaro, I think is the name of it. So anyway, so first, um, on your white sheet, I'd like you to do, I'm going to call these the Lucky 7 Mr. C faves, my favorites. 
First of all, number one, what is my favorite land animal? <laughs> you so should get this. Number one on the white sheet, my favorite land animal. You want your name date period upper right hand corner. So if you qualify, you can get next week uh, during the semester exams, you can get your Jolly Rancher. Now you'll have to hang on to this and then present it to Mr. Phil. Okay. Number one favorite, my favorite land animal. Number two, my favorite ocean animal. What is it? My favorite ocean animal. You've got to be specific. Favorite ocean animal. Be specific. Number three, my favorite bird. In all three of these animals, really glorify God because of their divine designs. So one favorite land animal, two favorite ocean animal, three favorite birds, specific. Number four, my favorite Bible verse. What would you say it is? Just write the reference. Or if you don't remember the reference, write out the first few words and then you can go dot, 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 dot. Number four, favorite verse. Number five, favorite divine design of all, besides the human body and besides the individual systems of the human body. What's my all-time favorite now? All-star divine design. There are actually two you could get. Either, either one would work for number five. And then number six. my what do you think my favorite um, I'll let you give I'll let you give one of several favorite um, your uh, magnificent brain um, tip or concept from daughter Laura what would it be favorite magnificent brain tip it would be on your Magnificent Brain study guide. It would be right off of there. You know, I'm going to shape this Magnificent Brain tip. It's got to involve creativity. So I'll let you take another 30 seconds or so. Something about creativity that stands out that we want you to remember, that daughter Laura wants you to remember. It's got to be something about creativity. It's number six. Number seven, my favorite topic to teach in science. My favorite topic. What would it be? What do I love? teaching about more than anything else. And I think, I hope, my enthusiasm shows. Okay, here they are again, real quick, one more time. And then I'll give you the answers. You'll have to be honest. Number one, favorite land animal. Two, favorite ocean animal. Three, favorite bird. Four, favorite Bible verse. It's not from Genesis. Number four, five, excuse me, favorite divine design. What do you think my favorite is? Number six, my um, favorite thing that Laura taught you about creativity. Number six. Number seven, favorite topic that I love teaching more than anything else. That's number seven. All right, let's see how you went with this. How'd you go, as they say down under? All right, here are your answers. Be honest, grade with the pencil you or, or pen you just wrote with. Number one, favorite land animal. Giraffe, of course. Number two, favorite ocean animal. Here it is. The humpback whale with its elegant pectoral fins. The longest pectoral fins of any whale. 
the humpback whale. Number three, my favorite bird, the peregrine falcon that can dive at 250 miles an hour or more. Unbelievable. Number four, favorite verse, John 1, 3. All things were made by him, and without him nothing was made that has been made. Favorite divine design. Besides, besides um, what you just wrote, individual ones, and besides the human body. DNA or proteins. Or proteins. It's a chance for one modest protein of 150 amino acids forming by itself. 1 over 10 to the 164th. No way did it ever evolve. As Stephen Meyer says, no serious scientist believes that proteins evolve. No serious scientist would believe that. There's just too much science to prove that God had to make them. Okay, what's next? So it's um, the number one thing I want you to remember about creativity. And she's got a number of things on here. And the number one thing I want you to remember about creativity is everyone is creative. So there's one correct answer. Or you can develop your creativity. It can be developed. It can be grown. It can be expanded. So everyone is creative. And number two, you can develop or grow your creativity. So how are we doing? Good. So remember I want you to go on Jumanji. So now I want to give you a few tips again for the semester exam and how to study this weekend or next week depending on when you take my test. Focus on this study guide. The first study guide. Really focus on it. Put your eggs in this basket. Now that's not to say you don't look over the other two um, tests from quarter three and quarter four. Look them over as well. Okay. So, I already gave you a number of tips about what's in the test. And then, really, really focus on this. Now, daughter Laura, yesterday on Thursday's lecture, told you to focus on every one of these words that she darkened or highlighted. Really focus on those. You have to know the, know these. Mr. C, how many are there? Eight. I'm counting them. Eight. How many questions are there about your magnificent brain on the semester exam? Eight. Watch me wink. Eight. Get it? Eight. There are eight tips that she has on her study guide on the magnificent brain. There are eight, wink, wink, questions on the study guide. Hmm, what could that possibly mean? Study these babies. Study them well. Eight points on your magnificent brain. Okay, next, what do we got? So, don't forget, you can, in fact, it's not an option. Bring a 3x5 that you filled out, or a 4x6. You can use both sides. Of course, you can use it during the exam. Okay? So bring it. Mr. Phillip, ask him for any tips or clues. See what he says. He's really been paying attention. He wants you to do well. He'll help you. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, I want you to know, I'm praying for you during finals, for strength, for grit, for grit to hang in there and persevere and keep studying. I was praying for you this afternoon before I did this video, just that God would give you strength 
And then I was praying for your summer, that God would protect you and watch over you. And of course he will. You seventh graders, perhaps I'll see you around campus next year. Um, if things are going okay with COVID, um, might come visit and it would be great to see you. Sevens, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that I didn't get to again teach you in person. Eighth graders, congratulations on your graduation. So, and I've missed getting to see you, but I sure enjoyed getting to teach you last year in seventh grade and getting to know most of you that had me as seventh graders. So, um, in just a little bit, I'd like us to celebrate this last lecture um, by having you do that drop ride from New Jersey. So, I love you. Blessings on you. I'll continue to pray for you. And triple R, triple R. All right, Mr. Philip is going to take you um, out to Jumanjaro and have you drop from its, let's see, 415 foot height, and you're going to get going 90 miles per hour. Good luck. I hope you keep down your lunch. So, and then at the end, um, I'll pop back in. At the end, you'll see us all at the end, and you'll see my daughter and my son-in-law Aaron who did these did these videos okay so Jumanjaro um, a little ending and then following that um, uh, perhaps you'll have some time to work on those science activities just a little bit more time to finish up um, before you turn your journals in so journals coming in today there'll be a little time left over to get those journals in as well. Happy Aloha Friday! Seventh, eighth graders, I just wanted to reiterate my great thanks to Mr. Philip for working so hard for me um, throughout this semester. I want to thank my wife for supporting me and praying for me on a regular basis. I want to thank my daughter Laura and son-in-law Aaron for producing these videos and working so hard on all of these videos. And my, my, my granddaughter Alice and my grandson Xander have one more thing to say.